Hey, I'm here with one of the biggest stars in the meet here at Non-Public A Championships, Taylor McLaughlin, Unicathlete, big double Taylor, 51.72 to break the Non-Public A record, uh, US number two, uh, your PR, you came back, won a 400 uh, a little while ago. Uh, talk about the 400 hurdles first, Taylor. I mean, 51.72 and it looked like you had even more in you. I mean, I mean, I just really want to get out well because I mean, it's really important for front hurdles to get out for the first few hurdles and that's really what I was focusing on. I know at the 400 afterwards, so I mean, I just tried to hold my steps as long as possible, get through 200 fast and the steps kind of fell off and I just kind of just tried to carry through and finish out the race strong. But I think next week I just want to like get on it and get like steps as long as possible and just get a really fast time. Yeah, you and I were talking about that um, you know, a little bit before about how yeah. much faster you might be able to run at the meet of champs. The, the state record is 50.37. Yeah. You know, that's still about you know a little over a second off. Is that something in the back of your mind that you feel like, because it looks like after what you ran today, do you have a shot at that? I mean, it, it's a goal, but I feel like I'm just going to try and break 51 first and then like baby steps break 51 and then maybe go lower on so like the 50 lows. So, you know. At New Balance happens. Nationals, you're going to run it too there? That's the plan. Okay. And uh, 400, you know, you, you uh, had a comfortable lead there and you know, 47 and change there. How would you feel about your 400 race? Um, I was definitely nervous going into that one too, especially since I had the 400 hurdles in my leg and my legs been like really just like achy, achy this week. So I did a lot of your leg or legs. My legs. Legs. Just, like okay. work, work out earlier this week, so I was kind of a little concerned. I cramp up, but I was able to hold off the competition and finish out strong. So I was happy with that. Yeah, some great guys chasing you more from Senior Preps, Upco, some good juniors in that race. Mm -hmm. um, I got to ask you, you're halfway towards doing something that only four guys have ever done before, winning four individual events at the group meet. Um, you got the 200 tomorrow, the high hurdles tomorrow. What are your thoughts on just you know, trying to win two more races tomorrow and, and joining that elite club, the quad club, I call it. Of, uh, you could be the fifth guy to ever win four individual events. Uh, I think it's going to be important for me to go home and really, tonight's going to be really important. i got to go home and ice bath and just stretch out and make sure everything goes good tonight so that tomorrow I can really get on it and just give it everything i got. All right. So we'll see what happens. Is it pretty cool just to think you have a chance to do something that not too many guys have done? Um, seeing as you just told me about that, I, <laughs> you didn't I, know? I did no idea. I had no idea. I guess you didn't read the big preview about it. <laughs> Right. But, um, yeah, four guys have done four events, wow. won four individual events, and That's you could be cool. the fifth guy tomorrow. So. That would be definitely be cool to be able to do that and kind of jump into that club. But I mean, I'm just doing it for the points because our team definitely needs the points. Yeah, you and CBA in a great team battle. Yeah. All right. You heard it from Taylor McLaughlin, Uni Catholic star, senior, double victory, including a 41, I'm sorry, a 51, 73, Ooh, 41, <laughs> 51, 73, 400 hurdle meet record, uh, U.S. number two. Congrats, Taylor. Thank you. Thanks.